Hello everyone, I am Prasad from the Structural Guide. You all are welcome to the Structural Guide YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss about type of slabs. Please subscribe our YouTube channel, you may get the notification on new videos. Let's discuss about slab types. What is a slab? Slab is a structural element that convert, covers the wall floor area and it is supported by the various elements like beams, columns and walls. So the floor is supported of floor, the supported structural element is the slab. Slab is rested on the beams, columns, walls. Depending on the its load uh, transfer mechanism, there are different different categorizations are there. Let's see what are the main types of slabs we find. One way slab, two way slab, fast slab, waffle slab, post tension slab, precast slab, composite slab, pitch roof slab, dome slab, bubble deck slab, and the hollow core slab. Let's discuss about each of these slab types in detail. Let's see what the one way slab is. One way slabs, you have a load transfer only in one way direction okay this is this is the direction that the load will transfer in the middle from the middle uh, the part of this part of load will be transferred this support this part of will be transferred this support there may be a beam here there may be concrete wall here those load will be transferred to end supports in in a to a slab, the story is somewhat different. So it's like this. If I draw it like this, see yield pattern like this. This part will be come to this slab. This part will come to this slab. This part go to this support. Sorry, this support. This part load will go to this side support. So there are four support all together in a, in in this this to this slab. The speciality is the, the load will be transferring both the direction. What's the flat slab? As you see, as the name imply also, flat slab is we don't have beams generally. So flat plate is there at the bottom. So column is there and then the bottom flat plate. There may be special locations, there may be drop panel like this to support when when it's when it is required uh, stiffness is cannot obtain from the slabs. Where there may be projections like this smaller beam like thing will be there in some situations. Flat slab is very useful in uh, in the services and all those things because no beams to obstruct. So services will be can run, can run smoothly and the floor to height may yeah. be able to reduce. But the construction cost may be slightly higher than the beam beam slab combination in some cases. Due to the in flat slab we may need to have a, the higher thicknesses sometimes that we have to keep in mind. Waffle slab and rib slab. It's also similar kind of a slabs, but there are some differences. In a waffle slab, you have a slab here, and right around the slab, you have a beams like this. Small square or rectangular panel is supported by the beams going right around. Uh, these are the waffle slabs. As per architecture requirement, when we need higher spans without the columns in the middle, these slabs are constructed. The rib slabs, you can see here the rib beams are there. The slabs with constructed with the rib beams, we call the rib slabs. In these slabs also very small span is there for the slab, small span. So the beams will be there, beams will be closely spaced beam will be there. The shape of the beam may be different. Now you can see here that aperture shape beam will be there. That, uh, that actually depend, you may construct the rectangular beam also. We, possible if required you can construct a rectangle beams also but uh, in this type of slab we construct the beams like this post tension slab 
now uh, when the blood slabs uh, have uh, some limitations we go for the post post tension slab because flat slab have a limitation now you can't increase the span significantly when you increase the uh, when you increase the span in the flat slab you have to have a higher thicknesses so if you increase the thickness of the slab the cost will be high weight will be increased at the foundation cost, cost will be increased or structural cost will be increased in such a situation when we need to have high spans we use the post tension you can see here in this diagram here the post tension bars are there the the columns are very 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 long distance so we have a higher span then we have a drop panel also here so we increase the stiffness of the slab all those things with all those things we can construct the flat slab so in the flat slab we have a post tension cables right running all in all all the directions so you may we may study different different uh, video about the flat slab in detail but uh, this type of post tension slab in, in in this type of post tension slabs you have to do the design but uh, specialty is this like a flat slab so we can go for higher spans with these kind of flat slabs the cost may be little higher than the conventional type sometimes but the space you get from the uh, spacing or increasing the space you get uh, by increasing the uh, get space between support we, we won't be able to achieve by the other methods precast slabs this uh, figure these are the precast panels now you you can construct the precast panel outside and you can place uh, during the construction even these beams we can construct as a precast beams or you can have a cross in situ beams so you can place the precast panel and they can support it from the bottom then you can construct the, these beams together with the precast panel or else first you cast the beams first then you can place the precast panel also that also can be done the next type we are going to discuss is the composite slabs steel decks steel decking sheet is used to construct the composite composite slab so you can say see the uh, shape of the steel deck on the top of this we can put the top, top reinforcement net to carry the hogging moment where the beams are so with the reinforcement and the concreting we have a composite slab this is made of the composite action of the steel deck and the concrete so cracking crack control reinforcement and the hogging reinforcement we may provide on these kind of slabs then we'll move to the pitch roof slabs as you can see in this figure this is a pitch roof slab so normally we instead of the roof uh, normal conventional roof we put the concrete roof so this is uh, also sometimes used in some construction work maybe depend on the aesthetic appearance maybe as per the other requirements we construct this type of slab also dome slab these are also special type of slabs we constructed because uh, it's a bit complicated and it's very difficult construction the tying reinforcement form book also very difficult to have the shape in there so but in special cases we do the construction there is no issue with the design and all that but the construction may be difficult in these type of structures bubble deck slab you can see in this figure it's a bubble are used in these slabs when when normally when we have a very thick slab uh, the the inner core core area is not that important because we carry the compression or the tension at the top and bottom segments in the middle part actually stress so the strain is very less effective so this area is not required that much only we need to carry the shear forces from top to bottom this combination link between top and bottom we have to maintain that's the only requirement so that for that we don't don't want to have a whole area concreted so you can see here the space between uh, these bubbles are there with that we can carry those uh, other 
shear stress and all that so with this we can main uh, we can reduce the volume of the construction which bring the greater economy to the construction hollow deck slabs now as we discussed previously also this is kind of a precast slab now to to save some materials like bubble deck slabs we 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 don't construct whole slab as a thick plate we construct middle part as a hollow section so that we can save some material with this it's also kind of recasting as i mentioned so you can place it on the support like this you can see here these are the support you can place them you can do the completing walls this part to continue the slab so with that uh, we end the today's discussions today we discuss about different type of slabs so why they important where we use those slabs all this was discussed thank you very much i am prasad from structural guide we'll meet from another video